Hello, is this Mrs. Leon? This is Chris, Sean's fiance. Good evening, Chris. Thanks for coming with Sean and greeting us the other day. It was nothing. About Sean. What is it? It's not him, it's you. What? Did I do something to offend you? I'll tell you this straight. Stop pretending to be his mother when you aren't even related. What? I heard that you're his father's second wife. I don't like how you pretended to be his mother even though you're not. Well, we aren't related by blood, I guess, but... I married his father when he was 13, and we've been family for almost 20 years now. Sean treats me like I'm his mother. I raised him like he was my own son, too. Stop it. It's annoying. Annoying? It's no use trying to make me feel bad for you. I'm not so dumb as to be fooled by such a lame story. You seem to be quite hostile. How you start is important when it comes to things like this. Which is why I'm going to say it clearly right now. I'm going to marry Sean. But you aren't related to him, so you're not going to be my mother-in-law. I'm not going to listen to what you, a complete stranger, says. Do you understand? I see. Understood. Don't come to the wedding, either. <laughs> what? The wedding as well? Yes, and the family gathering, too. I don't want to seem nosy, but shouldn't both the parents be there? That isn't a problem. I have it planned out already. Don't come to the wedding. You're just a stranger. I see. I was thinking about deciding how to get along with your relatives once I got to know you better. But I didn't think I would be shunned upon this much just because I'm Sean's stepmother. As long as you understand. Oh, that reminds me. Don't tell the others you won't come to the family gathering or the wedding yet, okay? Why? I have a surprise plan for Sean and his father before the family gathering, which is why I want you to not say anything unnecessary. What kind of surprise? I'm not going to tell you, the complete stranger. I won't forgive you if you tell anyone, okay? Mom? Did you hear from Chris about today? Huh? Oh, hi, Sean. What do you mean? Me and Dad were called to our nearby restaurant by Chris. She said that there's something she needs to tell us. But she wouldn't come even after the time we agreed to meet. So I wondered if she told you anything. I haven't heard anything. Oh, I see. I'll tell you if I hear anything. Thanks. Why? Why didn't they like my surprise? Did you bribe them or something? Chris? What's the matter? Is it fun ruining my surprise? Isn't this a bit rude? Just because you won't be able to act like his mother anymore doesn't mean you can do such a thing. The surprise you told me about the other day was today? Judging by your tone, it didn't work? Stop playing dumb! You knew about it and ruined it! But I didn't do anything. I don't even know what the surprise of yours is. What? You ruined it precisely because you knew. Stop lying! Can you please stop assuming I did something? Besides, I only found out you called Sean and his father 20 minutes ago when Sean sent me a text. What? Sean? He told me you didn't come even after the agreed meeting time, so he asked if I had heard anything from you. The person I was with was late, which is why I was late as well. So there was someone you wanted Sean and my husband to meet? Both Sean and his father noticed immediately who it was, got mad, and left as soon as I brought her. The two of them are usually so kind. There's not many people they would treat like that. Just who did you bring? Miss Duncan. Miss Duncan? Oh, I see. No wonder they got mad. What? Why? She's Sean's real mother and your husband's former wife who he wouldn't have divorced if it wasn't for you. She is Sean's real mother, but 
Where did you get the idea that my husband didn't want to get divorced with Catherine? She said it herself. Why did you contact her in the first place? You don't know her, right? I had the thought that he would be happy if I reunited him with his actual mother when I heard that you were his stepmother. So I hired a detective agency and... You hired a detective agency? Then I heard from Miss Duncan about the divorce. What did she tell you? She told me that the reason they got divorced was because Mr. Leon cheated on her with you. And that she wasn't able to get custody of Sean since she was struggling financially at the time. She also said that she hasn't met Sean ever since and cried. You didn't ask Sean or his father about this. You could have even asked me. Huh? I didn't ask you because I knew there was no way you would tell the truth. And what makes you think so? Because you're the one who stole Mr. Leon from Miss Duncan, right? Huh? There's no way I would be able to trust you. The reason for the divorce. I don't want a woman like that to pretend to be Sean's mother and congratulate us on our marriage either. I was planning on making Mr. Leon reflect on his past mistakes by reuniting him with Miss Duncan. And in the end, convince him on agreeing to remove you from the wedding. You keep saying all these things. But you didn't even bother asking anyone other than Miss Duncan. Someone you just met. Well, she's probably much more trustworthy than someone who would steal a husband from his wife. <laughs> and who told you that I stole Sean's father from Miss Duncan? Only her, right? You're making a big misunderstanding. Huh? Misunderstanding? Yes, quite a big one. You went out of your way and hired a detective agency, but you failed to do the simplest thing. What's your problem? Sean and his father just got home. I'll let you talk to Sean from here. Chris, I'm canceling the wedding. Why? I just wanted to reunite you with your real mother. No one said to do such a thing. Huh? I don't know what she told you, but it wasn't my dad who cheated, it was her. Huh? Dad used to go on a lot of business trips. She used this as an opportunity to bring guys into the house. One day, Dad got home earlier than was planned and found out. That's when they got divorced. Maybe that's a lie? Mrs. Leon told you this, right? Dad and Mrs. Leon only met half a month after the divorce. And they only started going out another half a year later. What? There are a lot of people who can prove this. But most importantly, I remember it happening myself. Not like I want to remember, though. That means you didn't want to meet Miss Duncan? Obviously. But I had no idea she was like that. So I thought it would be better to invite your real mom instead of her to the wedding. It's not like I meant any harm. But you did, didn't you? What? A few days later, after I told you that Mrs. Leon was my father's second husband, I accidentally overheard you talking on the phone with one of your friends. You said something like, oh, This woman pretending to be Sean's mother is definitely no good. I'll find a way to get them divorced. You heard? You hadn't met her yet at the time, so I thought you would understand she was a good person when she did. Which is why I didn't say anything. To think that she would bring that woman just to get my parents divorced. But... You only believed what Miss Duncan said because you wanted to believe it so you could get my parents divorced. That's why you didn't even think to doubt her. But it's a known fact that stepmothers are evil. Huh? Which is why I wanted to save you from that terrible woman. What is that nonsense? No matter how you look at it... What you did was a terrible deed based on a misconception fueled by your spite. Huh? There are stepmothers who raise their children like their own. And families who love each other despite not being related by blood. Mrs. Lyon, my mother, is the one who taught me this. What? That, that's impossible! It seems like you even looked down on my father thinking he was a cheater. I don't think I can get along with someone who sees my parents like that. I don't want to cancel the marriage. If you just accept now, there's no need to pay any sort of alimony. As nothing's technically happened yet, I think it would be best for the both of us. No! 
Sorry, but I don't feel like marrying you anymore. I said I don't want to cancel the marriage. It's not like you don't like me anymore, right? What? Of course I don't like you anymore. Huh? Anyways, I'll set up a meeting so we can talk things through face to face. The both of us aren't being logical right now, so it's probably best if we cool down for a bit. Bye. You don't like me anymore? It seems Sean telling Chris that he didn't like her anymore had a big effect on her. Ultimately, she seemed to stop caring and agreed to cancel the marriage. But the real hell awaited her after all of this. Apparently, Miss Duncan and her new husband barged into Chris's apartment. They keep telling her to support them financially now that she's Sean's wife, even though she keeps saying the marriage was cancelled. Her relationship with her parents was ruined after they found out about the incident. So she has no one to rely on anymore. She gave up and is now supporting Miss Duncan and her husband, two unemployed middle-aged people who are basically strangers to her. No one tries to help her, and apparently she can be frequently seen crying day and night while working her butt off. Alana, thank you for coming to visit me. The nurse told me about you. You were the one who changed the flowers, right? I'm sorry I was asleep. Oh, hey, you're up. The nurse asked if she should wake you up? But you looked so comfortable sleeping, so I said, it's okay. I told them to let you sleep. Thank you, you're so sweet. No worries. When I heard about the accident, I was so shocked, I was almost going to pass out. Surgery must have been tough, and being in the hospital must be uncomfortable. It's no wonder you're tired. The surgery was over before I knew it. I was relieved when I found out it went good. Yeah, I was too. I'm sorry about today, but I hope you come back and see me again. I hardly see anyone since I got here. The doctor, the nurse, the physical therapist are the only people I talk to. I'm so bored. Can you keep me company? <laughs> Right, I understand. <laughs> it's hard transitioning from being active and walking around freely to just lying in a hospital bed all day. I get how frustrating that must be. I'll keep you company. Thank you. I'm going to give physical therapy my all and get out of here as soon as possible. Can't wait to be back home. Yeah, that's the spirit. You're strong. I know you got this. By the way, how's David? He's the CEO, so it's probably tough for him to come visit, right? Yeah, I know he got a lot on his plate. I told him he doesn't have to stress about visiting. But you know what? He still made it here on the day I got admitted and during surgery. He also checks in on me every day, so I never feel alone. I'm grateful for him. I see. I'm glad to hear that. He's always on the go, so I worry about his eating habits. He's been grabbing deli food from the supermarket on his way home, and even whipping up stir-fries in the kitchen. He's doing his own laundry, too. His work keeping him busy all the time, he hasn't done chores in years. It's like a whole new world for him now. <laughs> wow, that's good. He handles everything with such ease. It's really admirable. He's going to be happy to hear about that from you. Do you want me to check in on the house and clean it for him? I'll even cook whenever I go. That's fine. He seemed to be doing okay. It's too much to ask you to be doing all that. We're sisters. I'm here to support you, especially during times like this. I'm good at cooking and I'm sure I can be useful. Are you sure you don't mind? I said I'll do it, so of course it's fine. I'll go whenever I can. Don't worry about it. 
Okay, I'll take your word for it. You've always been independent. You never ask for help. You should at least ask for some during times like this. Thank you. I'm so grateful to have you as my sister. Stop it! <laughs> Just do anything whenever you can, okay? I got you. See you later! Hey, Melody! How are you feeling? Alana, thanks for checking in on me. I've been trying hard for my physical therapy and think I'm getting better. I'm glad to hear that. I'm so bored. I can't wait to get out of here. I know. You're worried about David too, huh? Yeah, I do worry about him. I'm taking good care of him. There's nothing to worry about. Thank you so much. I wasn't that worried because I know you've been there to take care of him. I'll keep you updated on him so you don't have to worry. I know you got it covered. Even though you're busy too, I really appreciate it. No worries at all. You're my family. You're so sweet. Okay, so please keep me updated. Of course, I got you. I asked David what he wanted to eat yesterday. He requested for lasagna. So I made him some and some salad and bread. He was impressed. Wow, you're really good at cooking. I can only follow recipes. You're a cooking wizard and I'm jealous of it. David said you've never cooked lasagna for him before. He was low-key complaining. <laughs> huh? I'm pretty sure I've made it a few times, though. I guess it wasn't that good to remember. <laughs> Since we had some Italian food last night, I thought I'd make some Japanese food tonight. He seemed excited when I asked him if he wants that for dinner. He said he's looking forward to it. And he even asked me if I can keep cooking for him. Whoa, I'm so sorry he's asking too much. You're already doing a lot for us. I'll talk to him. No, it's fine. I'm having fun doing it. That's why I'm going to keep cooking for him. Is that okay with you? You mean you'll keep coming to take care of the house while I'm in the hospital? Well, David seems happy about having you around, so it's totally fine by me. You're really clueless, huh? Huh? What do you mean? I'm saying he wants me to keep cooking for him even after you've gotten out of the hospital. What? I don't understand. Let me make it clear for you. I'm going to be David's wife. Huh? What? I'm so confused. You're saying you are his temporary wife while I'm still here? No, no. I see. David hasn't talked to you about it yet. <laughs> what are you talking about? While we were having dinner the other day, he confessed his feelings to me. What? Are you kidding? No, I'm not. He said he always thought I was cute. But he's been keeping it together, knowing I'm his sister-in-law and all. Having me around seems to have thrown his self-control out the window. <laughs> Melody is in the hospital now, and he feels like it's now or never. So he just went for it, saying, I like you. I'm divorcing Melody, so will you marry me? That's how he popped the question. <laughs> Did he really say that? I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> I understand how you feel, but it's the truth. Oh, David also mentioned something. <laughs> what is it? He said he hasn't been satisfied with his sex life with you. I can't believe he would tell you such things. It's because you don't give him enough attention. Shut the hell up. Well, don't worry. I'll take care of him really good. For you, my sister. 
Are you saying? Exactly. We slept together. It was great. I'm sure we're going to have so much fun tonight. Hey, cut it out. Do you know what you have done? I know. I feel bad for what I did to you. But I fell in love with him. I can't do anything about it. You're not going to get away easily with this. I've always kept it to myself. But I've always had a crush on David. That's why it's hard to control my feelings. You understand, right? How could I possibly understand? Wait. Were you pretending to be nice to me so you could take him away from me? That's not it at all. I was just worried about you, sis. But I gotta admit, there was a little ulterior motive in there. So I get why you might see it that way. <laughs> anyway, I figure you'll be out of the hospital soon. I'm more than capable of cooking him a delicious meal. And I can keep him satisfied at night. Don't you think it'll be better if I marry him? What do you think? You're giving me a headache. I have to process all this. I'm tired. I understand. This is a lot to process. But you have to believe me. This is reality. You have to accept it. I'll send you some pictures to prove I'm not lying. What the... We're so in love. There's no space for you anymore. You betrayed me. You've been playing me this whole time, right to my face. How can you do this to me? We are sisters. I'll never forgive you for this. It wasn't my plan to betray you. But me and David love each other. You can't stop us. Fine, whatever. Fine? I'm divorcing David. Yay! Thank you for being understanding. You're still his wife until the divorce is finalized. So don't worry. I'll still take care of him. I'll keep you posted. I don't care about that anymore. Don't be silly. Are you out of your mind? I told you I'm divorcing him, so leave me alone. Oh no, I'm still worried about you. How awful can you be? That's rude. I'm out here worried about you. Yeah, right. Do whatever you want. If you say so, look forward for updates. Melody, David loved the tempura I made for him. He wants to eat my homemade food every day. He also invited me to his office today. I'll send you a picture of us there together. We look so happy together, right? I took your rich husband. Are you ignoring me? Are you too shocked to reply? Anyway, I'll update you again. Melody, what the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, listen to me. Call me or text me as soon as possible. I'm in the hospital. There's no way I can call you. Finally. There's a rumor going around. They're saying that I'm having an affair with your husband. You started the rumor, huh? You did all this. No way. Also, it's not a rumor, it's a fact. Now that the word is out, everyone is going to start talking bad behind my back. So, you're aware that you did something wrong? Why are you even worried about people talking behind your back? I knew it! I'll never forgive you for this! Thanks to you, my best friend doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. She said... She never thought I could be such a despicable person. And now, I'm getting slammed with messages from my other friends too. They're all saying it's despicable to steal my sister's husband while she's laid up in the hospital. They all hate me now. 
You didn't have to go and blab to my friends about it. You really think I'd have your friend's contact info, huh? Then how does everyone know about it? I swear, I didn't go around spreading rumors or anything. That's a lie! Then they wouldn't know! I just posted the pictures you sent me the other day, that's all. You can take a look at it if you want. What? Why would you do that? It's the same as spreading rumors! Actually, it's worse than that. I mean, you sent me those pictures, right? So I thought you wanted me to show them off to everyone. Wait, seriously? That's messed up. Me and David are getting slammed with messages from people judging us. You've got to be kidding me. I'm a nobody, so I don't really care. But what about David? He's the CEO. And now clients are doubting him thinking how they can trust someone who cheats on his wife. Even his employees are judging him. Bringing his affair in his office is way out of line. It's a total mess. Some people are actually quitting over it. You're still his wife. Why would you do such thing to him? Huh? David hasn't told you yet. We already filed our divorce. I asked mom to help me with it since I can't leave the hospital. Mom? She never mentioned anything about it. He never even cared anything about social media. So why all of a sudden? I've had a lot of time in the hospital. I was bored. When I made my Instagram account, a lot of my friends and your friends followed me. And then it got fun for me. I've been posting things about my life in the hospital. Even though I told you I don't want to see the pictures, you sent it anyway, remember? So I posted it on my page. Why would you do that? Everyone is going to know about me and David. Are you stupid? I didn't put your real name and stuff. Huh? That's not the point. My friends follow you, right? They know my face. What the hell? Um, okay. It's all your fault. Aren't you ashamed that you're making it sound like it's my fault? Um... Oh yeah, by the way. David's brother saw the post and messaged me. He apologized for what happened. He felt bad for me and he was disgusted by what his brother did. He told me he's gonna tell his parents about this. David's parents know about it already? Yeah, they called me right away. They said they're going to cut ties with David. They're also going to ask David to pay them back for the money they gave him to start his company. He's not welcome home ever again. What? Being with someone who's successful, I thought I'll be settled. That's what I thought. Too bad, huh? He lost his clients and employees. He got debts piling up. He's still the CEO, so you're lucky to be the boss's wife. <laughs> Do you think it's funny? This is all your fault. Posting it on Instagram, seriously? I'll never forgive you. What are you talking about? Isn't it all your fault? You stole my husband while I was in the hospital. Well, I guess cheaters will be cheaters. I couldn't forgive you both, so I needed my payback. I just let everyone know what's the truth. It's not my fault that this happened to the both of you. You all did this to yourselves. What? I apologize for taking him away from you. Apologizing now won't change a thing. I have no intention of forgiving you. Don't say that. Please. I beg you, please clear up everyone's misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Were you even listening to what I said? I just told the truth, remember? Then tell them another truth. That your sister and husband fell in love. So it's no big deal that they end up with each other. Maybe people will understand if it comes from you. 
Okay, I'll do it then. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Just as you wished, I posted the other truth. Thank you. What did you post? My sister who stole my husband reached out. She wants everyone to clear up their misunderstanding. She said that she was the one loved more by David than me. She wanted to let everyone know that. And she hopes that everyone understands. That's what I wrote. What the hell? Why are you making it seem like I'm the bad person? You just made everything worse. Take it down now. No way. I only wrote the facts, just like last time. Why can't you just admit that you were wrong? I can't even accept you as my sister anymore. Our parents are furious with you too, so goodbye. Melody, wait! I blocked Alana from everything. She reached out to our parents right away after what happened. But they shut her down and said, You're dead to us. Don't ever bother us again. They said they deleted Alana's contact information. Alana's friends have been hitting me up trying to comfort me and support me. She had good people around her. I feel sorry she had to lose everyone. David's company completely lost its credibility and went bankrupt. Both of them received slander from relatives, business associates, and friends. Rumor has it they fled town, escaping the backlash. I successfully got discharged after putting in effort with my physical therapy. One of Alana's friends set me up for a blind date. I'm not thinking about getting into any serious relationships yet, but I am enjoying going on dates with him. I'm really excited to enjoy my second chance at life from now on.